What in the ever living f Hi everybody and welcome back to the Upside Dan. There's a new horror movie that's out. It had a, you know, it was shown at Sundance. I didn't check it out. Um, I actually knew little to nothing about this movie before going in, into it today. And I just, this was a movie. It's called In the Earth. Let's talk about it. As the world searches for a cure to a disastrous virus, a scientist and a park scout venture deep into the forest for... <laughs> As the world searches for a cure to the... Did it, did it. As the world searches for a cure to a disastrous virus, a scientist and park scout venture deep into the forest for routine equipment run. This movie was directed and written by Ben Wheatley. It stars Joel Fry, Elora Torquia, Haley Squires, and Reese Shearsman. This movie, um, it had some things going for it. Let me let's start with the positives. I thought that, oh, I... There were some effective scares, not just jump scares. There were some effective, you know, suspenseful scenes. And there was some body horror, by the way. So if you're a body horror fan, you're going to get a lot of, especially foot stuff, you're going to get a lot of body horror in this film. And it it looked good. It And it was violent. And it added, some of the body horror had to do with a suspenseful scene. Scenes. And it was a movie. This was a movie. This was just a movie. I don't know. Because I liked some parts of it. But honestly, I was just waiting for this movie to end. I'm not going to lie. And I don't I don't know if... I mean, I basically spoiled my review already. So, so it, But some really good creepy aspects, especially with this guy. And I think you've seen it on the poster, the promotional picture or whatever. Standing like in lights with an axe. He's a creepy dude. And I thought that that added to a lot of good creepy imagery. There was some, there was some creepiness. There were some loud sounds. Like there was some... Yeah, and in the beginning of the film, they do warn people that there's a lot of flashing lights in this film, and there are. There's a lot of flashing lights, and I don't suffer from epilepsy, but that's what they they warned you. And but I was even kind of getting like a headache, and the the, the loud noises did not help. There were some loud noises, and then it just went to random imagery flashing back and forth. And in this, it didn't really make sense. Voyagers had that imagery as well, but in that, it made a little more sense for the most part. But in this, it did not always make sense, at least not to me. I don't know what they were totally going for. Sometimes I did. It was a interesting movie. And not really, though. I don't know. I can't. I don't know what to say about this movie. I don't know, dude. Um, it, The acting was good. I will say the, the acting was really good here. And I really liked the characters, especially, you know, our two, you know, characters that are going on this voyage into the woods. I definitely liked them. Acting was really good. There were some weird parts that I still don't even understand all that much. And there was a lot of times you saw my face in the intro. There's a lot of times my face was literally like that. Yeah, I was literally just like that. Um, So, no, I don't I don't recommend it. <laughs> I don't recommend it. I don't think, and there's a certain people people that will like this, and I just thought of some of it was pretentious with the some of the visuals, and uh, I don't even know. Some of the visuals were good. It it definitely was a creepy landscape, you know, in the forest with this creepy guy. He has an axe, and then there's fog, and there's loud noises, flashing lights. The whole shebang. That's all I can think of to say about this right now. So no, I, I think you can, you know, pass on this one, to be honest. I, I don't know if it's worth checking out. If all of that sounded good to you. Or if you're a fan of Ben Wheatley's work. Like, if you like some of the other stuff. I don't really know any of his other stuff. But maybe you'll find enjoyment in this. I did like some things do not get me wrong some of the story was okay some of the scenes you know were suspenseful and i was actually really intrigued in the beginning like what was going on what was really happening in this forest i was but it just didn't tie it back around at the end for me 
Uh, yeah, I probably will never watch this one again. And uh, I, it definitely felt longer than the runtime. I do want to give credit, though. Some of the directing choices were good. Some of the writing, it was good. You can see some really good stuff kind of trying to shine through. Good acting, like I said, good characters. Just, it wasn't for me, maybe. I don't know if it, a lot of people I'm hearing that from, it's just not for them. It's not for me. It's just not. So what would I give In the Earth out of 10? I'm going to give In the Earth a 4.5 out of 10. I think that's my lowest score. And again, people are gonna find something in this. I just, it just was not for me. So, In the Earth gets a 4.5 out of 10 for me. Comment down below though, have you seen In the Earth? Are you interested in seeing it? Did you get to see it back at Sundance? Let me know down in that comment section. Blow up the comments. Are you interested in this film? What did you think of it if you saw it? If you've liked this content so far, you're going to like some more. So click around here to see some more. Please like this video comment on this video, share my videos and my channel with the family and friends of your life. Mm, whatever. Um, hit that notification bell, subscribe, and come to the Upside Dan.